screwdriver can help us here a little bit. Oh, well, oh, oh, something's going on. Oops. So if you've uh, ever wondered uh, why those pumps fail so often at relatively low mileage, uh, this one has uh, this one is from that X6 uh, that has just around 70,000 uh, kilometers, not miles. Um, as you can see, it's uh, not really any cracks or a sign of uh, sign of. Uh, Maybe material fatigue or any cracks, it's still pretty, pretty solid. All the terminal seems to be okay as well. Um, when I try to spin the, the propeller, it kind of goes okay. Doesn't really feel any blockage. The computer said that it failed because of uh, because of some kind of a blockage inside. Um, so this is the Continental. Let's uh, take it apart and uh, maybe we'll find out why <laughs> why it keeps failing. <coughs> um, I'll be able to just separate this plastic cover from this aluminum body. Um, you can see a few tops, so uh, let's see if the Mr. Screwdriver can help us here a little bit. Uh, well, oh, oh, something's going on. Oops. Well, it's definitely not easy. <laughs> The pump is basically garbage, so I'm not really afraid of breaking anything. I just want to know why it fails at that low mileage. It, the only thing that's kind of holding it is the magnets inside. I don't really want to break it before I see it, so I can show you. There we go. So we have one terminal here um, that, uh, hmm, that's interesting. Oh, so looks like this. Yeah, it's definitely water. And if you can see the, um, the crack right here, it's kind of you can probably see the water, which is interesting. But I believe the water actually supposed to come here. Yeah, so no, so this is so yeah, so there is a little bit of a coolant, but in only in this barrel here, which is basically this one. And uh yeah, it's a little wet. But uh, that shouldn't cause the failure. It's basically like this, and uh, you know, there's a seal <laughs> and magnet. Uh, I had to take the seal out. So this is the seal that's sealing this shaft. <coughs> it keeps it in the in the sealed uh, chamber, and this is a stator. This is basically a rotor. That's how it keeps spinning inside. So inside of this one is the water, but in here it's pretty dry. So I don't think the well, it doesn't seem like the water is an issue. Um, all this terminal seems to be okay. There's no sign of it's a little bit. I don't know if it's a rust. Right there. 
discoloration. Uh, don't mind this one, that's what I did. I <laughs> taking it apart. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was uh, okay. Before I <clears throat> attempt to open it. So yeah, I don't really see what can go in, what can go wrong in here. Uh, what about here? Um, it's a bunch of... Uh, attached directly to the, the propeller. Uh, this one's cracked, so I'm not sure maybe there's a cause. This one's cracked too. Okay, so this is the terminals. Those look okay. I don't think that's a, that was an issue, probably not. And another two terminals here. Seem like a welded, current welded. Yep. And we have a circuit board. Let's, uh... Oh, there we go. <coughs> that is interesting. So, you can see some kind of a. It smells burnt, for sure. It smells and looks burnt. I'm not sure what that is. Um, kind of an insulation. Hmm. <clears throat> I guess it's some. I don't know. You guys, uh, you guys, tell me if somebody's, uh, you know, uh, has a more non more knowledgeable than than I am. Yeah, what that is. It looks like some kind of a resistor. So that's the first uh, mm, like sign of a failure that we found. Let's. Uh, uh, let's take uh, let's take a further look. Those two little wires here and here. This one is very close to that one, so that if those two would touch, that would uh, well, that could <laughs> potentially be a problem, causing the pump to fail. Uh, why would uh, why would I touch like that? It's I don't think it uh, would be caused by some kind of a f mechanical force, since this is a, a sealed uh, mechanism inside or electronic electronics. Um, but that seems to be just a kind of circuit board joint. Connector. <laughs> well, I'm pretty confident the water is not an issue. Um, I've read a lot of forums said, well, you know, the material gets old, gets cracked, eventually water gets in. This is not the case. That's for sure. Anybody know? Uh, leave a comment. Mm. I don't mind to learn something new. 